because I haven't even used it yet, but this is what we're going to use to catch those pompano. Um, brand new, hasn't even touched the water. It's a fishing surfer uh, bait boat. Back here is where the bait drops, supposedly. Somehow it uh, clipped up here. <clears throat> I'm not sure how this works yet because I haven't had a chance to even try it out. This thing's supposed to go uh, about 500 meters, which I think is about 1,640 feet, I believe. But this is where the bait will hook up and you drop it. Um, can't get that closed yet. Somehow it opened up. You could use this at night. It's got the blue light, the red light, which I probably will never use it at night. Um, I'm going to mount a GoPro camera on top right here so you guys get to see it actually going out into the water. It's pretty cool so far just looking at it. Now I bought this from Breakaway Tackle. Took a couple of months to get it but I think he's still got some in stock. I know when I was there it was a couple people picking them up. Now I use drones to drop bait as well and it's too much of a problem hooking the line up and stuff like that. So this is why I wanted to go to a bait boat. Since I'm out on the beach sometimes 8, 10, 11 hours, which will charge the battery while it's sitting, and that way I can uh, use it a whole bunch. Looking forward to this, and Big Rich actually has one. I think his is called the Aqua Cat. So we're gonna see how this thing does next weekend. I'll be out there and uh, trying to go after the pompano. Um, almost every year, man, I, I try to go after the pompano and I never catch any pompano. My sister caught a big one one time and that was about it. That is a good size pompano. That was hard to bring in. That's a good size one. Woo, look at that. And I know where I put that thing at. Yes. Big pompano. I'm not going to lose them. That's a big one. You want to hold them? No, I'll lose them. Man. Me. Sorry, buddy. Thank you for your life. This year, I want to get them. And this is going to get it out there to the second gut or wherever they're at. So hopefully we don't lose this thing because I've done lost enough cameras and there'll be a camera mounted on here. And so these, uh, I think, are like $759, and then your GoPro is about 400 bucks. And then I'm going to be dropping a GoFish cam with the line out there to get you guys some views underneath the water to show you, you know, what's hitting, what's out there, and stuff like that. So look forward to those videos coming up soon. I'll be out next weekend. I couldn't go out this weekend because I had things I had to do. I had to get an oil change and... Uh, had to go pick up this boat between 9 and 11. So, you know, a lot of things to do this weekend, but I will be out there next Saturday. I have no plans to do anything else. But again, this is the Fishing Surfer and Breakaway Tackles got them. I think they're 759 and that's plus tax. And I think it's pretty cool looking. It's gonna be fun um, to get that bait out there where the fish are without having to get in the water because that water is freaking cold in the winter time take a look at the surf conditions today it was really really good today i mean it was green flag water temperature is around 63 61 degrees somewhere between 61 and 63 degrees both in port a and corpus christi uh, the water clarity looks to be like up in the sevens so it's actually definitely improved Green flag today, guys. Man, take advantage of the green flag because that's rare. Um, Pompano should be somewhere in the second gut. Sometimes they're in the first gut, so this would be a perfect day to go out there and catch some Pompano. Uh, the height of the waves are going to be between like one and two feet. West southwest winds about four miles per hour. Low tide has already passed, so you got a high tide at 10:17 p.m. tonight. Driving looks to be really good on the beaches uh, as far as Port Aransas to Peccary and down Padre Island National Seashore. 
I don't think you have to worry about the water going up to the dunes this weekend. Uh, this is a perfect day, guys, to get out there and try your luck and see if you can catch some pompano. Make sure you got some really good pompano rigs from StanfieldTackle.com and uh, use just some fish bites and some uh, fresh shrimp. I like to use salted shrimp. And if you don't have salted shrimp, make sure you get some uh, bait elastic and stuff like that. But surf, surf looks great today. Perfect conditions, guys. All right, guys, I just wanted to hop on here and show you this uh, boat. And hopefully we can get it into the water next week. And this is the controller that you use for it. Um, I'm not sure how to use all this. I've got to research it. And uh, actually, Breakaway Tackle had a thing out at Packery Channel Boat Ramp yesterday to show you how to use this. I just couldn't make it yesterday. But that's what the controller looks like. It takes four AA batteries in here. And these are rechargeable that I'm running in here so I can just take them out and recharge them all the time. So, pretty cool. Not sure how to use it yet, but I've got a week or so to learn how to use it. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel. And if you would, hit the like button down below. Looking forward to uh, finally maybe catching some big pompano this year. And I know you guys are looking forward to me catching some pompano. <laughs> but anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Peace, guys.